Tell us about your campus and the kind of community that you serve. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we yeah. bought, um, it's developed a lot again, as Maura said, we've grown mm-hmm. quite quickly over the last five or six years. We bought a, an old, an old schoolhouse, basically an old mm-hmm. primary national school uh, six years ago now, which had been used as a daycare centre for people with Alzheimer's. Mm-hmm. So it had been adapted from a school into a daycare centre and then we, we've adapted it back into a democratic school type uh, setting. So it's a lovely building. It's in a really nice setting. It's in a rural setting, but we're quite close to Sligo Town as well. So we we really did strike gold, I think, when we found this place. We were really lucky. And so that's the main the main building. And then we, we have additional buildings that we've added on and different amenities over the last few years. A really, you know... A, a small enough astro multi multi use pitch which has been an amazing addition to the to the school so there's sports going on all all you know all the time basically rain hail or shine and then a barn as well structure we've we've added on some simple kind of very cost effective structure so the children can have shelter really from mm. from the elements because they love to play outside a huge amount and a lot of the time all they all they want is a bit of shelter so so we have various different structures on the site. We have a lot of green space. We were really lucky two years ago. Well, we identified pretty quickly that we needed to expand both our buildings and our site. So we, we bought the site behind us and we bought the site beside us. And the site beside us had a little cottage on it. So we've turned that into a nice little workshop space now and a tech room, a gaming room. And then we have a big green field behind us, which the children just come up with all sorts of games and <laughs> around in. And, and so, yeah, so we're lo- lovely. We're lots of old trees and views up to the mountains. And, and we have plans now, big plans to, we have planning permission has just been almost granted now for a big extension. So yeah. that's our next phase. We'll be developing the school and, yeah, putting, putting on a big extension. Yeah, well, that's the site. Mm-hmm. And then the community. Yeah. So are the families about 30% of the families um, who are who enroll their children here actually relocated and moved here specifically mm. for this school? Wow. So that's from within Ireland and also from other countries in Europe. So we have a very kind of international community here, funnily enough, in the northwest of Ireland. So it's unique from that perspective. Mm-hmm. And then the rest of the families are local-ish so our radius would be we serve I suppose a radius of about 40 to 50 kilometers in every direction so people travel you know some distance maybe to to you you know get here and every day it's quite so it's quite a diverse community yeah sure from a geographical point, point of view, of view. I think yeah. mm-hmm. um it's developed really nicely from a cultural point of view especially amongst mm-hmm. the parent body like they they have some of the parents have organized we're in a we're in a really popular spot here for surfing so yeah. one parent a year ago or so organized a surf club after school so a lot of the parents and students go to that and um th- there are other things there was skateboarding was everybody was fanatical about skateboarding for a while so they all went to the skate park after school i think they have a coffee morning as well a couple of um a couple of times a month and we have full community gatherings at least every term and sometimes more. We have a big party at the end of every term and everybody's invited in and brings food and we have a party and whatever, you know, whoever wants to perform, performs and all of those mm. kind of things. So that's been really useful and helpful, and really nourishing, I think, for the community, for parents to get an opportunity to get to know each other a little bit better because they are quite spread out. And um, so it can be difficult. It's not like in the traditional model here, which is the local national school and everybody mm. lives together right. and they can all out together. And, and so that's been very supportive, mm. I think, for the for the community and especially with people moving. The parent community we have, they're amazing about helping other people because there's a lot of inquiries when people are. It's it's a big it's a big thing to do, you know, it's logistically yeah. challenging. Yeah. Housing isn't very there isn't an adequate supply of housing around here. Mm-hmm. So there's all of those challenges, but the existing parents and the parents who have moved are a great support for those, you know, the incoming parents as well. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg. <laughs>